Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTNHD, and yes, the final part of our MDT 2013 Deploying Windows 8.1 web series, and uh, I'm pretty excited, so let's get started. Uh, 1 through 11 was a breakdown of how to import an application, how to set it up, importing an operating system, creating a task sequence, out of the box, different scenarios on out of the box drivers, how to use them how to work them, separate videos that I did for you guys, breaking it down, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Uh, what else? Uh, how to create a basic task sequence and the, bas the basic task sequence that I've done was a um, just a regular deploy the operating system. No SIP prep or capture as of yet but pretty soon I'm going to be pushing out a video for you guys how to do that. I think on part 11 which was the last one I did for you guys was uh, we configure our WDS, our Windows Deployment Service server, uh, to boot to the network so we could actually deploy our operating system over the network. Because I don't like to use bootable media, so I normally like to do everything through the network using Pixie Boots because then you could push out your operating system to multiple hardware at the same time with no problem. So let's actually get started. Uh, I'm going to go into computer. Uh, I'm doing everything on a virtual environment for testing wise, but uh, I'm going to create a BJ test folder. There's nothing in it. I'm going to copy the location and I'm going to create a empty virtual machine container. Hit next, hit next. Uh, we're pushing a Windows uh, 864 bit to this container. Uh, the location that I want would be here and the name of the virtual machine would be BJ test. Uh, next, I'm only going to give it 25 gigs, real small, and we're going to hit finish. And we're going to start it off. And if everything goes well within the start, i got to press that F2, F12 actually, and it's going to go into my Pixie Boot setting. So awesome. Remember, you got to make sure that you're, stand you're standing by to press F12. And once you press F12, you're going to get two options, either boot into an 86-bit Pixie Boot environment or a 64-bit Pixie Boot environment. I am deploying a 64-bit operating system, so that's what I want. So we're going to press Enter for 64-bit, and that's going to load up. It's actually going inside our boot uh, folder. As you see at the bottom right here, it's going to the boot 64 images light touch PE64 WIM image which is part of our MDT deployment uh, and that's what's going to be uh, pushed out to us for us to pick our operating system add it to the domain if that's what you guys want to do pick the applications that you want and then it's going to be deployed so let's let's see how it goes okay awesome so we're within our pixie boot MDT deployment environment uh, this is really up to you. You can actually go into your config or your custom settings INI file and disable this. I really didn't do any custom. I, I think I did do some customization for you guys on that uh, particular file on previous videos. But something happened to my virtual machine infrastructure and I had to rebuild everything and I didn't bother going inside the custom settings INI file to redo everything again. So this is why this is like this. So we're going to run the deployment wizard. It's going to prompt me to enter my credentials. Now, these credentials are the ones that you need to enter uh, to get into your deployment. Okay, Whatever account that you're using has to have full administrative rights to that deployment share or it won't work. And uh, this is my domain. Let's press OK. If everything goes well, it is going to get into your deployment and do this. Awesome. Because I picked a 64-bit Pixie Boot deployment image, it's going to only show you your 64-bit operating system. So we are going to pick that. We're going to hit next. The next option is computer name. Again, later on, this series is done. So uh, I have other videos that I'm going to be attaching to this series. And it's going to be like how to automate the computer name, how to do some... SQL database, how to SIP prep and capture, which is probably the first one I'm going to do because a lot of you guys love doing that one. So I'm going to give it a computer name of BJ Tess. I'm not going to join into the domain, uh, but I'm going to show you guys later on how to join into the domain automatically. I'm going to leave it at the work group. We're going to hit next on that. I don't want to move any data, but 
pretty soon I'm going to do a video on this. We're going to hit next. We're not going to do any restore user data and uh, local time and uh, we're going to pick Eastern time because that is where I am at right now. Where is Eastern time? There you go. We're going to hit next. Now, uh, I, I, I test this out before doing the video with you guys and Skype is not going to work and the reason why Skype is not going to work because Skype is already built in with Windows 8.1 it is a Microsoft product so you don't really need to install it so that doesn't make any sense to even have it during your deployment uh, but you, you do need Firefox because it's not part of the Windows 8 uh, operating system so we're going to pick that we're going to hit next uh, this is a quick detail and we're going to begin now the best thing that I love about MDT 2013 which Microsoft kind of enhanced is that it gives you a nice percentage loading uh, feature. Uh, it tells you, you know 3%, 10%, 14% and it gives you a nice little timer. Uh, back then they never gave you that so you basically like you're waiting and waiting and you don't know where you're at or how long it's going to take but with the new version uh, it, it gives you a percentage as well as a time of when the deployment is over. So that means you can grab a cup of coffee and come back and you know the specific time of when to come back, which is awesome. So right now it's applying and installing the operating system. Like I already have uh, 2% and in 14 minutes everything should be done. And I'm going to cut the video right here and then uh, I see you guys when it is completed. Hey guys, and we are back. Yes, my deployment is completed. Uh, straightforward and easy deployment, as you can see. Operating system deployment completed successfully with no errors. I'm so happy. Let's hit finish so I can start cleaning up. Uh, our Firefox application is installed. I know within our deployment, we had uh, a bunch of red stuff that I went over. And uh, one of them was disabling the store app. So let's go into our store app and see if it's disabled. So let's click on store. This app can't open. Store can be opened using the built-in administrator account. Sign in with a different account and try again. So let's let's try that. Uh, let us go into our settings. I'm going to go into settings, PC settings. And let's create another user account. Log into that user account and see if that user is able to get into uh, their SkyDrive and uh, their store app. So let's go to accounts. Uh, let is, let's do uh, other accounts. Let's uh, add an account. We want to sign in without local accounts and let's give it uh, BTNHD no password, no password, just hit next and hit finish and let's go back to our start menu and let's sign out let's log into our new account okay so we are within our new account we're gonna hit store again the, reg the registries that we pushed out within our deployment will be used when you add your machine to uh, your domain environment. I'm just doing this as a quick, uh, quick thing to show you guys that our registries did push out successfully with another deployment. As you can see, Windows Store isn't available on this PC. Contact your system administrator for more information, which is awesome. And let's get into our SkyDrive. And SkyDrive should say the same thing. Your system administrator has blocked the use of SkyDrive. So our deployment has gone successfully with no problem. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the web series of 12 parts of using MDT 2012 to play Windows 8.1. If you guys have any questions, just leave it at the bottom of the comment section. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to have more stuff being attached to this web series, but it's just not going to be like part 13, part 14. It's just uh, out of the blue stuff like uh, getting into the SQL database, uh, adding your, your machine to a domain controller, uh, SIP prep and capture which is a huge popular uh, topic which I'm actually going to tackle that one first for you guys uh, hopefully you guys enjoy catch you guys on the next one peace out